What's up, brother? Bad boy D here. Today I'm talking about NoFap and speak on my three years experience with NoFap and semen retention. I'm also going to address all the recent content creators who have been putting their two cents on the topic of NoFap, such as Far From Average, Angel, 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 is that, is it, I don't know how you pronounce it, but he's a pretty cool guy, I like his videos, and a very impressive young cat taking YouTube by storm, Stefan Klinkscales. I'll speak about NoFap benefits, how NoFap has changed my life. And hopefully give you some no-fat motivation for your no-fat transformation. So if you want to learn more, stay tuned. Bad Boy D TV. Do you want to know how I got this deep manly voice? Because of no-fat, brah. Like I said, no-fat is a game changer. No fap and semen retention is the real deal. And as I said, I have three years experience on this topic. Switching it up today, I'm not going to expose you guys to my ugly mug. Oh no, I lied. There I am. It looks like a Shih Tzu bred with a Chihuahua. Is this mic on? All right, joking aside, I've been watching a lot of videos recently about no fap because... YouTube seems to suggest it because I've been watching NoFap videos for three years and I've made a video on NoFap and I even noticed a channel that almost has a million subs far from average made a NoFap video and one thought that crossed my mind is do all these guys really do it? Do all these guys actually do NoFap or are they just creating videos because they know what's kind of trendy now? And after contemplating it a little bit, I realized that, yeah, these guys probably are doing no fat because I hate to break it to you. Maybe I just have really strong willpower, but it's not that hard. It's actually just one less thing you have to do. There's a YouTuber, Angel, or Angel. I don't know how he pronounces his name. I've seen lots of his videos, but I've never heard him pronounce his name. But you can just look at a before an after picture of him and you can see some of the no fat results right there like it's real men and a Stefan Clink scales made a video about it also and I truly believe that he does it because this young guy Stefan no homo but you can tell when a dude can pull a lot of tail and gets a lot of females and I'm pretty confident that Stefan's one of those cats He's a pretty charismatic young man and he's jacked, so he probably has no trouble in the female department. So a dude like him has no requirement for fapping in his life, obviously. After the only no fap video I posted, I have received a lot of questions. And most of them were, how do you fight the urges? How do you stay on track? And I didn't make a response video yet because... Like I said, I personally didn't find it that hard. I didn't find no fap that difficult to maintain. This is coming from a guy who was a chronic alcoholic and is four years sober. And I have a really strict lifestyle. I eat very, very clean. I don't eat any dairy or gluten. So I'm pretty good at eliminating things in my life. So I had a little bit of practice before the no fap. But I, I really feel it's not that difficult to maintain or attain. I haven't actually done a full three years of no fap. It's basically two and a half years. When I started researching no fap a little bit, it was about three years ago. And what I did, and I suggest people do this for any addiction, is I cut back at first. I tapered off, so stopping at cold turkey wouldn't be as difficult. Basically, three years ago, I cut back to once a week, and then two and a half years ago, I stopped, and I didn't go back. And I can say that crossed my heart, no word of a lie, two and a half years. With one little bump in the road, let's just say, don't edge. 
you don't want to edge, don't edge. Let's leave it at that. But two and a half years besides the one little mishap. One thing that you guys might find beneficial if you do need some support is Reddit forums. I didn't read the Reddit forums to prevent relapse. I more so read a lot of them to just see other men's experiences on the benefits. So I could almost get a placebo effect of what to expect. And placebo effect or not, it's real. Most of what the truthful testimonials are saying are 100% what you're going to get. So Reddit's a fantastic resource for the no fat community, for lack of a better term. And like I said, guys, if you do have a little bump in the road or a little discharge, pun intended, it's not the end of the world. Consider it you cutting back. If you went three weeks and then had one relapse, that's three weeks no fab. Kudos to you. That's pretty darn good considering how much some people struggle with it. Less is more. Just ensure that you're fapping as little as possible. And if you have to taper off, that's probably the best way to do it. I'm not going to lie, guys. I did have a flat line. It was probably two months where I was getting the benefits already. The, the attraction and the attention from the females was definitely there more than ever. My beard started growing in fuller. I started speaking with my diaphragm more and not my throat, which gives you a deeper, more powerful voice. But the flat line is real. Basically what I went through was just irritability. I was extremely irritable. And I still am sometimes. You, d you don't have patience for bullshit. So I guess the what the flat line was was me adapting to my, my new brain. You want to get a lot accomplished. And you don't have patience for time wasting. Or people getting in the way of what you want to get accomplished. So there is some irritability. Because your drive goes up. Big time. There's an interesting theory that I saw on one of the Reddit forums, and that was that NoFap probably increases the androgen receptors in the body, which is why you feel like you have higher testosterone. Actually, the more androgen receptors you have, the more your body is going to suck in and use that testosterone. The reading could be off of how much free testosterone you have in your blood because the androgen receptors are picking up that excess testosterone and using it properly in your body for repair and anabolic processes and all the benefits that you get from the NoFap. And if this is true, that's amazing because the more androgen receptors you can have in your body, the better of a man you are. And that would explain, like, the beard growth that a lot of men get when they start the NoFap that they didn't have before. That's your androgen receptors increasing and using the testosterone to give you more masculine features. I'll show you a picture here of me before the NoFap. And that's a picture of me about a year in NoFap. Definitely see a difference, and that's one year apart. And you can also see it from the angel content creator I mentioned before. Pretty astonishing. And a lot of guys like to talk about the no fap superpowers because you do, you feel like you have superpowers. What I like to call it is more or less peak human performance. You are working basically on the best factors your genetics can provide. So when you are fapping and wasting that energy, you have bum genetics. Your genetics aren't being used to full capacity. We obviously have a limit to how far our genetics can take us. But at least when you're on the no fap, you are making the most of your personal human 
genetic potential. That's my theory, but I believe it to be 100% true. It's like the before Captain America and after Captain America. He doesn't have superpowers, but he has peak human performance. You are optimized to the peak potential you have in your genetic limitations. I guarantee that baseball player, I forget the, the pitcher's name, the MLB pitcher who did that matrix move and dodged the, the baseball. But I can almost guarantee he was on no fat because some of the stuff that I've done, just the hand-eye reflexes and the athletic performance feats that I've done at 35 years of age that I wouldn't have been able to do in my early 20s is pretty astonishing. Like your hand-eye coordination is impeccable, almost to the point of quote unquote superpowers. And no fap and semen retention, there's different levels to it, I forget what all the different levels are. Like monk mode, kudos to everybody who does any level, it's amazing. But odds are if you do no fap, you will get more female attention, and you will be able to release without a problem if you want to. You just won't have to use your hand like a little beta male. So if you do, or and when you do, with that female or several females, or hey, you do what you want, bro. Just make sure you replenish as soon as possible. You deplete a lot of nutrients when that happens. So what I recommend you do is every time you release, make sure the next morning you get a good multivitamin in you and a dozen eggs. A dozen eggs and a multivitamin. That'll start to get you back in the game. All the protein and cholesterol and selenium and zinc and minerals from the multivitamin will start to get you back in action. I'll link in the comment section a few supplements that help too for men's general health and well-being and maybe repairing some of the damage you've done over the years of fapping to also help your neurotransmitters regenerate Get your dopamine working again back in your brain, which no fap will ultimately do, but things like tyrosine might help in the process. Yeah, another thing is the sexual transmutation. That's a real thing. You have real drive and motivation. There's countless successful people in the last hundred years that have been on no fap. They just didn't call it that then and they didn't advertise it, but they were successful people that transmuted the sexual energy that they retained from doing the nofap and did incredible things. I've also read that many elite rich people do nofap and they teach their children and generations to do so. And the fappers are the goyim, the cattle, the general population. Not to mention, fapping's the most beta thing you can do. It's the beta monkeys that fap while the alpha monkey screws all the, the, the monkey chicks. You guys might as well go to your, your job, find the, the alpha male at your work or at the gym and start uh, grooming his hair. Cause that's what the beta chimpanzees do. Just start group. Actually, no, you're going to get your beta ass punched in the face if you do that. Don't, don't start grooming alpha males if you're a beta. I will do more nofap content since it's still progressively growing in popularity. I have mentioned it before in several of my videos. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down in the comments section below. Check out Bad Boy D's latest video in the top left corner and subscribe to his channel in the bottom right corner. I wish you well, homie. Peace.